Hey, what's up? Zach King here with a Motion 4 tutorial. I'm going to be covering the Mystery Guitar Man's recent video for Future Frames effect. I was actually just testing this effect out recently because I'm doing a short film this semester with this effect as one of my visual effects projects. So what I was going to do is just do a tutorial on how I did that since I uh, recently have that in my mind. Let's go ahead and grab the frame where I jump. And this is the freeze frame. And it's a beautiful ballerina pose. Go ahead and comment and rate what I'm kidding. Um, so what we're going to do is duplicate this. Command 4 opens up your layers. Go ahead and duplicate by right clicking. Duplicate. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and mask this out. So let's go ahead around the subject. Moi. And I'll see you in about 35 seconds. So now that I've finished making my mask and connecting the dots, we're okay. Now notice I actually connected them inside of my body. I didn't actually go on the very edge. I'll show you why in a little bit because we're going to add a feather. I'm going to pull this up to about 14. You can't see it yet because you got to turn off the bottom layer. So now that that looks okay, what we're going to do is save this frame. We're on frame 50. So go to the inspector, select the copy, go down to timing, and we're going to select end condition, hold, end point is going to be 50. So now we're going to set the speed to 0%, and we're going to drag this to the beginning of the video. And so as I'm getting ready for that pre-launch, there's my body. In midair, as I go past it, you're going to see we're going to cut it off right where I hit that position. So hit O, that's an out point, and so it takes away the effect. And that layer is cut off. One last final adjustment here. Go ahead and add a shadow. Notice when I walk by, find the angle of your shadow in your video. So mine in the live video is right here. That's where my shadow would be. Let's match that. So select drop shadow. I'm going to select the distance. and We're going to move it onto the wall. About 100 is my distance. Then I'm going to change the angle. And it looks like the angle of the actual shadow would be about right here. That's about the blur. And the opacity can go up a little bit. So there is your shadow on the wall to make it kind of fit into the scene. And as I walk by, you know, it looks real with the shadow. That's kind of one of the selling details. And then as you fly by, the shadow will disappear, but it's no big deal because all that happens so fast, no one's going to notice that. And there you go. So there's the Mystery Guitar Man effect. Pretty easy. You can do it in motion attach your videos. I want to see what you do with this effect, so attach your videos to this video, and I'd love to see those. You guys take care. Check out FinalCutKing.com. I've got a new training course coming out next month. It's going to be awesome.